My name is Troy Beekle. I'm Horticulture Specialist for Premier Tech Horticulture's Grower Services Department. Hello, today I would like to talk to you about micronutrient deficiencies and toxicities, basically what causes them and some things you can do to correct them. Now micronutrients are defined as elements that are required by the plant in small quantities. Now just because they're required in small quantities doesn't mean they're important. They're equally as important as the macronutrients. So the, the deficiencies of those can also cause a lot of crop problems or toxicities. Micronutrients include things such as iron, manganese, boron, copper, molybdenum, molybdenum, and zinc. Those are your micronutrients and are needed by the plant for, uh, for healthy plant growth. Now, if you take a look at what influences micronutrient availability, the biggest factor involved is the pH of the growing media. So for instance, your normal pH of your growing media should be between 5.5 and 6.2. If the pH is above 6.2, what happens is your micronutrients get locked up in the growing media and the plant roots can't take up the micronutrients. If your pH is below 5.5, the micronutrients become too available and the plant takes up too much and can lead to a toxicity. So pH is very important. So specifically going to micronutrients, let's first talk about micronutrient toxicity. Well, with micronutrient toxicity, again, oftentimes the pH is, is a bit of a problem if it's too low uh, plants will take up excessive levels of those elements. Crops such as geraniums, as an example, or marigolds, New Guinea impatiens, lysianthus, those types of crops are susceptible to taking up too many micronutrients and make good indicator crops to determine if you have micronutrient issues or toxicities occurring. Often you look at the leaf margins, if they turn brown on the old leaves, that's an indication you probably have an iron manganese toxicity. In that particular case, if you do have a micronutrient toxicity, a couple things you want to look at. First of all, correcting the pH of your growing media by using you know, maybe a liquid lime or switching to a more potentially basic fertilizer to bring your pH up, or maybe your application rate in your fertilizer is providing too many micronutrients. In that particular case, you want to back down on the rate, look at your fertilizer injector, make sure it's working properly, and your solution. And the last thing you also want to look at if you're using control release fertilizer, if temperatures are high, it will release too much fertilizer, but that can also release too many micronutrients. So you want to watch for that. Now in the case of micronutrient deficiency, where the plant can't acquire that, again, that could be related to the pH of the growing media being too high, again, above 6.2. And usually an indicator crop would be things such as petunia, calibrachoa, scavola, uh, uh, vinca, and other crops. And what happens in that case is the micronutrients are hard for the plant to take up. So you'll see that you'll get some yellowing in the new leaves. And I have an example here of scavola. If you look at the new growth, you can see this, this yellowing of the leaf with green veins. That would be an indication of, for instance, the most common one, an iron deficiency. So if you run into a deficiency issue in your crop, again, you want to look at the pH of your growing media to make sure it's not too high. And if it is, you may want to consider injecting acid temporarily or switching to a fertilizer with higher potential acidity. Or it could also be that your fertilizer application rate is too low, so you may want to consider bumping that up or maybe even supplying a micronutrient fertilizer to correct those elements. And I want to thank you for listening to this presentation on micronutrients. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact your Premier Tech Grower Services representative. Thank you. For more information about ProMix products, visit our website and follow us on social media.